Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. Today's venue, one of the most picturesque around, the St Jakob Park here in Basel. It is our understanding that they've gone with a 4-5-1. Well, it's a formation, Peter, that lends itself to good possession and control in midfield because you've got the numbers there, a higher concentration. Backing that up with enough attacking dynamism is down to managers who want to get at teams. It can be used in cautious terms too, but certainly if you want to advance a little quicker and you have that attitude, then you can be very positive about this too. So that's got things on the way. Dicks one in. It's over the line, and it is a corner. In for a header! No, he didn't quite meet it right. Stocker. Anything, Jim, to pick out of these early exchanges? Alvarez. TSV are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Um, it's not movement for the sake of it, and yes, it is working for me. There's a purpose to, to create space. Tries to get it forward quickly. Basel going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Basel are seeing more of the ball, but still aren't carrying much goal threat. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Affalai. And he just whacks it away. Throw it. Van Wolfsburg. Alvarez. Van Wolfsburg. Battles to win it back. A loose ball and helps available out wide and he's onside. 
the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. Van Wolfsvinkel. And it's Stocker, just brushed off the ball there. Looks to dink one in. Looking for space out wide. He's got the... and the shot! We hit half-time, so now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully they've been saved for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, we'll need to see more energy and invention early on. Afalai pins it out wide. Got options out wide. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. TSV get it back again. So we've reached the hour mark. Little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers, and we could do with something to spark this contest into life. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Too much elaboration and not enough penetration, no damage likely. In for foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. He knew what was coming. That's a yellow card. Do you think he's feeling the effects of that tackle? He had plenty to do. Absolutely terrific, terrific reflexes. Goalkeeping at its very best. Great run on the overlap here. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Beautifully done. Cross is in a low one, and that's left him on the seat of his pants. Decent enough try. Danger. Lozano. He's had a go! Keeper gets just about enough of it. Well, I think a little eagerness just got the better of him. He may have been thinking about back page headlines there. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities.
great strength, too strong for his opponent. Do they stick or twist? Caution or risk? You know, what will they rue more? I think it'd be a cautious mindset they'd regret more for me, so I'd like to see them try and go and win this. Can't get the better of his opposite number, and the counter is on. Van Wolfsburg. Alvarez. Aimed long and direct. Well, what we're witnessing now just goes against the grain. They're not going to get back into the game like this. Let's put a stop to that. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. it back forward it goes and there goes the final whistle a frustrating game for attackers on either side they hardly had a sniff defense is broadly in charge and it has finished goalless how do you look back on the game then?